My name is Tamara. I'm 33 years old. I live in Jonesboro, Georgia, and I'm addicted to my pillow. Only I know the connection that we have. Oh, you almost dropped it. I know that when I touch it, everything is going to be better. Tamara has been addicted to her pillow since she was four years old. She carries it at least 18 hours a day and treats it as a best friend. Well, my pillow actually has a name, and it's Boo. Hey, Boo. Something about the sensation of my hands, that's the main thing. My pillow goes in the car with me, grocery store, movie theaters, daily walks. I don't bring it in the restroom area. I just, I don't do that. It's always in my eyesight, even if I can't touch it. It surrounds me. I need it, and I don't care if the president, whoever saw me with it, I wouldn't care. I'm not ashamed. Tamara bought her pillow at an antique shop in 1982. She has never washed it. It's got some years on it, you know? It's got, it's got some miles on it, but it's not dirty, and it's, well, it might be a little dirty, but it's not stinky. I, prom I don't like when people say it's stinky. I just get very disgusted by the pillow. It's just black and dark. Like, why do you need to hang on to this? There's a part of me that is concerned about uh, my older sister uh, addiction to her pillow. I never be around anybody besides her to have their pillow, like, everywhere they go. Do you feel like your addiction is something that you need to work on? I'm OK. And you don't think that can affect some of your, your relationship? No, because I feel like if you want me, truly me, then you're gonna accept my pillow because that is part of me. Me and this pillow got history before you came. 